In this video, I'm going to review a very basic way that you can check that your control points are actually indeed helping you lay out accurately, and it's where you establish a backsite point on your job site that you can go back and check each time you restation to make sure that each stationing is putting you in the exact same spot within your reasonable tolerance each time. And so in this tutorial, just watch and observe what I do and see if it can help you on your site as well. So on my project, I have control point one, control point two, and control point three. I'm gonna station on all three of these. I'm going to create a random backsite point somewhere on my job, and then I'm gonna restation two more times to see how I'm falling on that point each time and observe the results. You're gonna see what it looks like with an accurate stationing each time, and I'm gonna show you with a more dramatic inaccurate stationing so you can see the results of both. So as you can see I have a perfect stationing and I'm going to go ahead and press the green check mark, go into my measure and record function and I'm going to measure a backside point. So where my crosshairs are right now is where I have a prism set up over a specific point. I'm going to measure that and call it my backside point. And I'll press measure. Okay, now that the backside point is saved, I'm going to move my total station and I'm going to restation on those points and see if I can fall in that exact same spot. Okay, so I've just completed measuring my backside point again, and as you can see on here, I have moved my stationing. I was here earlier and now I'm over here at station four, so I have moved and I remeasured the BS point. Let me zoom in. So with my new stationing, obviously there is a slight discrepancy, but let's see how much that discrepancy is between the two points. It's coming up as an eighth of a difference for the situation that I'm in. And for me, for most of the th work that I do, that's the size of a chalk line at least. And so an eighth of an inch is something I'm willing to accept. But let me go ahead and do this one more time to see how the third stationing that I have lines up with this. Okay, and I have now measured my third BS point, And you can see that my station has moved. I was started on station one. I then went to station four. And now I'm at station five. And let's zoom in and see how my third BS point measures up to the other two. So the third BS point that I have measured is coming in as a 16th deviation from the original that I had at the very beginning. So out of all these three stationings, the maximum deviation between the three is an eighth. That gives me a lot of confidence that the control points I'm using to station off of are accurate. And they'll maintain that accuracy throughout the life of the job. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely move my control point two to be slightly off by a few inches. I'm going to restation a few times and I'm going to show you the results of my backside point analysis to see how dramatic the results could be if the stationing continued to be a poor stationing. Okay so I just finished stationing three times on a poor stationing. Essentially what I did is I had CP2 be off by about three inches or so on one way and because of that each time I stationed the total station was doing a lot of work to get a best fit of these control points and let's see what the results are for my BS points located here where I measured it. So my original point that I measured was right here and let's see the differences. So from here to the first stationing that I did we have a deviation of about an inch and a half and for the other stationing a deviation of exactly one inch and a half. It is interesting that these two fall close together but clearly they're far away from the original point that I measured on my original stationing. And just remember that this is actually supposed to be the exact same point. And if you're bouncing around an inch and a half, that's a huge room for concern, especially if you're trying to get an accurate stationing. So just make sure that you do this often throughout the day. Obviously do it when you're stationing to verify that the control points are lining up properly. Do it in between layout sessions. Every hour, check your backside point. Are you still lining up correctly with it? Before you set the tool down during the day, check your backside point. Are you falling in line with it? It's just a good check to always have in your arsenal.